Shout out to all the Cancers in the building. Happy birthday to you guys. Drop your birthdays down below. Rep your cities. Cancers, your overall energy is the death card. Transitioning, transformations, cycles ending. It's your birthday season. Wiping the slate clean. This is you leveling up, changing, and putting your happiness with this Ten of Cups, more of that water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, putting your happiness first and foremost. Cancers, other people's do what they can. You do what you want, okay? Cancers, before we get into the rest of this reading, which we're going to keep it short, sweet, and to the point, do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe, I upload almost daily. Don't forget to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placement videos for a deeper look at your situation. I am available for personal readings. That information is in the description box. Find me on Instagram or via my email. And Cancer family and cross watchers, we are in it to win it. Your happiness being first and foremost. And that's why a lot of y'all are cutting people off and asking them to give you 50 freaking feet. Okay? Because you're not doing any of that negative energy. You're done with that with this death card. Capricorn energy here with the queen of coins, which speaks to you being balanced, stable, not allowing anything to threaten your stability or your happiness. Okay? Making, mo making money moves. This could be new job opportunities, interviews coming your way. But again, you remaining balanced emotionally and again, financially. The fool here, Gemini energy on the board. This speaking to brand new journeys. Like I said, some of you, this is a new job opportunity, new love offers coming in, somebody who's actually going to hold you down. You making sure that you're not fooled by anybody with this fool in the reverse, that you're making sure that people's actions match their words. Others of you with this Ace of Cups in the reverse and this Queen of Coins, this Justice in reverse, you're not looking for love at all, though you have many suitors or people interested in you cancers with this ace of cups you may just be wanting to celebrate your birthday with this judgment card here this judgment in the reverse speaks to final endings situations where you feel like you need to cut people off again for your happiness maybe they're draining you okay of your energy of your love you're cutting them off you may have people coming in wanting to ask you for your forgiveness because they weren't treating you the right way with this Ace of Cups and it's your birthday season. Like, oh, it's Cancer's birthday. They'll be feeling okay. Let me reach out to them. Uh, Yeah, don't. Because it's cutoff season with this death card. The justice card throwing up, <laughs> showing up here. Libra energy in the reverse. And this speaks to any imbalances again you're done with, you're getting rid of, figuring out what those things are. Some of them are your own thoughts. Maybe this is negative self-talk. Maybe this is just you overthinking, overanalyzing some things here with this eight of swords. And that's what's keeping you stuck and trapped and not moving here or imbalanced. But once you figure it out, drinks are on you. This is celebration. This is uniting. This is reuniting. This is coming together. Everything's, everything is working out for you. The Seven of Wands, which is a card of, you know, somebody being defensive or feeling like they have to defend themselves. Mm -mm. None of that energy. This is you just taking action and moving forward. This is you protecting your energy and your peace and being very careful with those that you spend your time with, that you are celebrating with. See, everybody can't come and sit at this table. Again, those people showing you that fake love, this final judgment and the fool, they weren't fooling anybody. Again, being careful about who you invest and spend your time with, with this Queen of Pentacles energy. The Five of Coins, Taurus folks in the building. Taurus energy with this Five of Coins. This speaks to an abandonment of betrayal. And that's what you really done with. People that have been stabbing you in the back, you don't have time for them. People that have been playing games with you, breadcrumbing, you don't have time for that. People that aren't uh, don't recognize your worth and your value, uh, you don't have time for that either here with this five of coins. But you may have somebody who's betrayed you that wants to reunite with you and get back together that's throwing off your stability. And, and you're not going to allow them to block your blessings here with the six of cups. No, no, no. I'm sorry, you're just not. Again, your happiness being at the forefront here. And you're not even going to let your impulses get the best of you here with this page of wands in the reverse. Not even if they're looking good. Not even if the last time you got with them, they put it on you real hot and nasty. You said, no, they're not worth it. 
the sun, Sagittarius, Leo energy. This speaks to happiness, triumph, the grass being greener on the other side, happy endings, brand new beginnings, fertility for some of y'all. Some of y'all are walking out of this cycle of being a single person into being a mother, a father, or getting married here. This is you, again, impulse is not getting the best of you, honey. No, no. Because you're, cha you're changing, you're transitioning, you're on a higher level, and you don't want to do things that you're, you feel embarrassed about with this Five of Cups. You're not doing that. The Three of Wands here, this is you looking for new opportunities, staying um, on your toes, but this really, to me, speaks to a lot of you guys traveling here with this Three of Wands, doing a lot of movement here. Some of you are indeed getting married here, like I said. Go, transitioning from being a single person into being a parent or being married here with the Hierophant Taurus energy and the Two of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. Interesting, which equals a four. Then we have this Four of Cups here, which speaks to missed opportunities or somebody being so focused on one thing that they miss out on something else. Don't be so busy out here, Cancers, that you're celebrating having a good time for you, with your birthday that you miss out on this person that wants commitment. That's not only telling you, but showing you, willing to invest in you, trying to give you their time, making sure that they keep their promise A Lannister always pays his debts. Because you out here dipping it and doing it like Wendy Williams here with this Four of Cups. You better return that person's text messages here with the Eight of Wands. It may be somebody who's messaging you now, but you, you've gone silent on them. Because you partying. Because you're out in these streets having a good time here. But this person wants a brand new start with you. But maybe you... I feel like this person is out outside of your typical type. And maybe that's why you're discounting them. Or maybe that's why you're not recognizing that they're very serious here but they're they're starting to lose hope in an opportunity with you and they they really would like this the four of wands here in the reverse and maybe some of you are coming up off of a relationship and they don't want to be a rebound so there's somebody approaching you that's looking for something serious they know that you some of y'all came out of something quick came out of a relationship recently i should say and they don't they're not looking to be a rebound they are not interested in any other options they just want you ace of swords they don't want to be a player no more. They got a crush on you. They got a crush on you. And they're ready to tell you about it with this five of swords. They're ready to tell you about it. How they've been thinking about just you. How they've been scared to tell you about this. Ooh, with this. Okay. Okay. They've been nervous. Fumbling over their words here. Things haven't been coming together. It hasn't been the right time, right place. But they want something serious, solid, and stable with this Four of Coins with you. And it's been a heavy burden. These feelings that they've been carrying around for you, Cancer. They want you to invest in them. This is a secret admirer. Period, point blank. You got somebody close to you that's been waiting for this transition. Whether that's out of this relationship or for you to just be happy that um, is secretly been watching you from a distance or really from close by with the Seven of Swords, quietly waiting for the right time to come in and sneak up on you. Though this person isn't shady and sneaky, though they've, they've been watching you from a distance and waiting, wanting to seriously invest in this Eight of Coins. This is a new person. Though you, they're familiar with you, this isn't somebody you've dated before. Mm-mm. Ten of coins here in the reverse. Not somebody you've been committed to in the in, in the past. A new person. Baby. Cancers. And they're not trying to put you on the back burner. They're not trying to tell no lies. They see a serious love situation with you. And again, not trying to play games. Coming in on that emperor stuff. Divine partner coming in. If you're vibrating on the right level, Cancers, make sure that you are you remain humble and keep that ego in check so you don't miss this emperor here that's coming or this empress because they're not coming to play games here with this two of cups three of swords here in the reverse they know exactly what it is that they want and they're going after it cancers drop this person sign down below let me know where you're watching from hit the like button please subscribe i upload almost daily um, hit the notification bell. Check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus placement videos. Reach out to me for a personal reading. That information is down below in the description box. Find me on Instagram and Cancer Family. Happy birthday. 
and I'll be checking in on you soon. Keep it real.